Good morning, Earl. What's up there, Jose? Huh? Man, we don't like to be back, man. Episode 13 or so, man. Wow, man. I can't believe how fast time goes already. I remember going on the first episode. Yes, sir, man. What does the morning hold? What does the morning hold, man? Well, definitely in Florida, it's nice and muggy outside. It's going to rain for about 10 minutes and it should clear. Right. Yeah. You know how we get. We might get some down the street, none down here. Yeah. One yeah. side of the town might get hailstorm. <laughs> and <laughs> we just get drizzled. That's more the weather for you, man. Well, welcome. It's J3P Podcast. Yes, sir. We're early in the morning on the Plug and Talk. Hey, I love the Plug and Talk. Yeah, it's just something we can catch up with. We got plenty of uh, stuff we want to discuss. We got an event coming up. Oh, yeah. Which is going to be very fun. Uh, we'll be going cigar tasting, hanging out with folks. Yes, yes. That episode, I'm, I'm excited about uh, damp cigars. Oh, yeah. We're introducing y'all to damp cigars. If you guys are cigar smokers, you guys are more than welcome to come to the event. Uh, drop a comment. We'll give you the information. Like and subscribe, please. And we're going to share it and let the world know. Oh, yeah. And for you guys who are not cigar smokers, this will be a great episode to watch because we're going we gonna to break them down the different terminology, the different textures of cigars. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about our favorite pairings with the cigars. And it's going to be a great episode. We're going to be actually in the cigar shop chilling over there. You know, it'd be awesome, man. I can't wait to be it good. Going, because uh, a lot of people you gotta think about when they think of cigars, are like, oh, that's nasty and this and that. Yeah. You know, they always have a bad experience. But what we're doing is educating the experience. It's giving you the quality of, of taste and even to know the, the right way of, of smoking a cigar as well. Uh, to me, I, I don't, I don't, I don't use it as a everyday use. Right. To me, it's more like an occasion, you know, a sociable thing to do with friends and. Something I nice relaxation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People look at it as, as in, a, in a sense where it would be cigarette smoking. Nah, nah, nah. You actually don't inhale cigars. Nah, that's yeah, all we'll just say. You know, it's so yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have a lot to discuss, and, and the way people prefer smoking cigars or inhaling cigars or even just tasting cigars. Right. There, there's definitely, definitely different ways of to kind of qualify that. As either just a, a tasting or, or smoking, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. It's gonna be fun, man. We got a lot of informative stuff we want to discuss, and we're gonna be at a, at a venue here in down here in Fort Pierce. Yeah. And introduce close to downtown, close, close to downtown, downtown, around the same area. Oh yeah. Uh, definitely. Uh, we'll let you know where to go. It's very nice lounging area, and uh, the cigars that we're tasting. Is a local from Fort Pierce. Yes, yeah, that's the major thing. Because you know, that's what we hear about on June 3rd, J3P, man. We're trying to bring out the qualities of this area, man. Not only this area, we just want to show the world there's interesting things to do on all sorts of levels. So to have that guy from this little town, Fort Pierce, who got his own cigar line, man, I'm fucking with him. Oh, yeah, and it's, it's, it's great to see somebody coming out of here and doing something different. A lot of people know what's for happening professional athletes, which is, which is great. Yeah. And uh, some people go to different routes where, you know, it's not recognized in the, in the positive event. Right. But we got a lot of people that are trying different things that are actually trying to reach out to the world in a, in a different quality, in a sense, for a cigar, you know? Like, yeah. that's pretty interesting to know that someone from this area is interested in, in developing their own brand. Their own brand, his own name. Everything. On it. You know, you put his whole family name on it, on the damn Pierre family, you know, you got a damn cigars to me that's that's powerful man that is great that's man powerful. uh we we definitely had a demo with him taste it out and yes. i'm very impressed and, and and extremely shocked the fact that that he knows this kind of like education behind the cigar he, and the he got a few, he had a few he, cigars yeah, he got a few cigars man he got so many different varieties of them that is it's mind blowing to know because you can look at some major companies, they don't even have a huge uh, no. cigar. It's, yeah. a, it's, a tough, it's a tough way to, uh, to, to do a cigar because sometimes yeah, it makes your leaf really sticky mm-hmm. and really moisture mm-hmm. which you don't want. Uh, so some people just know how to mix it right and, it, and it's a really good tasting cigar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's, 
Well, I can't wait to get there, man. That's this weekend. This Sunday, we will have that recorded, and we'll have it. We'll have a date for y'all that we're going to release it. Uh, we definitely will be doing some live interaction that day on the Facebook, the Instagrams. You know, you guys pay attention. J3P on everything. You know, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Share it, too, because the more you share, the more people deal with it. Correct. And, uh, we want to get everybody involved out there. And if you guys are interested in coming, Please hit us a comment. We're gonna shoot this video just to get a little promo going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get everybody involved. Hey, they hit them with the little drum roll, and they hit them with the uh, welcome to the Junior Third Podcast. Oh, yeah. We here early in the morning on the Plug and Talk Show. I'm your host Earl B, and this is my co-host Jose Legit. And y'all know how we do it, man. We bring it in this morning, man. Oh, uh, we got so much to talk about. Uh, we could talk about a lot of stuff that's going on in the news, but for, I think for everybody, it seems like the world has been going through a grieving moment with the Nipsey Hussle because a lot of people are like, oh, he's just a rapper, but this guy influenced the world on so many different levels that I've been reading posts of guys saying that every moment that they, you know, they find themselves trying to listen to music, they run across the Nipsey music, so it put them in a sad state. Yeah. And it kind of mess them up, you know, they go to thinking about their family members that they lost and this type of stuff. So it's like um, today on this show, for us to be recording today with everybody, I mean, everybody got a lot going on in life. Uh, uh, I love what the guy says. Uh, every morning, that everybody wake up, they step into some kind of shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that everybody, it's some kind of shit that you're stepping into. And you got to learn how to continue to go, even with that smell hitting you in your nose. And you know that it's sticky in the bottom of your shoe. You still got to get out and take them steps. So today, we want to encourage. I want to encourage everybody. Jose going to encourage everybody. No matter what you're going through out there, continue to push forward to whatever your goal is. Because uh, this could be your fuel to the fire to push you over the hump of where you're going. Exactly. You know, and I agree 100% with that, man. And it, coming from that situation, it, it's never it's never a happy ending. Right. It's in all reality, like, uh, he's left a lot of great things for us to cherish. Correct. Which is a beautiful thing that we got to admire. Because a lot of people don't go and they've left this world with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no right. evidence of, of the purity that they were in this world. And the fact that, that he were able to admire what he has left for, for us is a treasure. Correct. It's something that we cherish because that, that's how something we can remember him for our rest of our lives, you know, and right. it keeps going. You know what I love about that? I love what you just said. Uh, the marathon continues. That's what everybody been saying behind Nipsey. And when you just took me at it, it's so crazy, man, when you just said he left the world with something. Uh, I once was living life uh, for nothing, you know, just crashing out, doing crazy stuff. And what hit me was one day I went to the graveyard to go out and just visit a couple plots. I do it a lot. I actually did it yesterday morning before I got here. I went just to clear my mind. I go out and spend some time. So walking around the graveyard and you start to see there's certain plots that says more than in love and memory of brother, son, brother, you know, cousin, yeah. sister. It actually has, you know, the the mechanics has the, the tools up on their tombstones. You know, the football players, the young guys who die young, they get their little sports balls on the on the tombstone. You know, um, it just came to a point to me where I'm looking around all the graveyard and you can see the people who actually had careers. You know, they was leaving the world with something. There's actually a, 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 a tombstone at the graveyard that I walked by. I don't know who this woman is, but her tombstone is so powerful. She wrote a poem and they put it on her tombstone. Wow. And it's out here at Fort Pierce, man. And, uh, it's so nice, man, because she left the world with that. There's one out there that I think it's that same lady. They actually got a little thing next to her. She's talking about how she used to take kids. I'm not gonna go by there and take a picture of it. She they literally have a little card on her thing telling about how she used to take kids to all these college trips and this and that. She left the world with something. She impacted so many people that they wanted to make sure that if you walk by this, you do. I never knew that woman. Yeah, you recognized it. So that day wasn't a barber yet. Wasn't doing anything with myself at that time. I told myself. I want something to be left on my tombstone so when my kids come out here or my family members come out here, they'll know what I was doing on earth. Exactly. So to see Nipsey also leave the impact that he left, that's my goal in life. You know, I want to be able to, 
hey, I want the microphone for podcast up there. I want the Barbary tools up there for them too. Like little badges to represent what you really were a part of this world. You know? Right, right. You know, I want, I want something to symbolize me helping out the kids because that's my main goal in life. You know, so that's what everybody's objective is to find their purpose in life and then go for it, push. So, Nipsey, he did that. To the point where they're booking out the whole state of Center, that bro. That's amazing. That's yeah. a beautiful thing. You know, that just goes to show you that, you know, you impacted somebody and someone in this world in their heart, in a positive way. For real. It's like, I mean, Nipsey Hustle, I'll give him 10, 10 years. i say he was more mainstream the last three to four years. Right, right, right. Well, he's yeah. been in the rap game for many years. He's been mm-hmm. 10 years in the game. And He's always had underground music, yeah. But he started drafting these like gems, platinum CDs. Uh, I think his last, I say, three albums was pretty consistent. Oh yeah. This last album he had, uh, was it Marathon? What was the last album on? The main no bad with names, man. Time, time, uh, man, I forgot. Well, he was supposed to win album of the year for sure. Yes, for sure. Hey. Because the record be told now. Level Up was one of my favorite songs on that track. I had ordered for that the whole year. Since he dropped it, I've been ordering for that year. And I'm not gonna lie, I sat there and listened to the album and it had a purpose. It, it, it just made sense. It yes. wasn't just music to, to get you drunk or high or nothing. It was music to mellow you down. Right. And, you know, you know, like, never let hard times come with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that song there. Uh, Double Up. Uh, that song is so impactful if you listen to it and, and everyone can relate to it. And what I like about his music, you don't gotta be a game bag in life, you don't gotta be a drug addict. You don't gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You can be anybody that has got a in general state of mind and you can relate to it. He was trying to empower, man. He and that's what he did. It is what he tried to do. He did, he completed his legacy. And uh, when he passed, my brother called me and he asked me what I think. He knew how I, I like Nipsey. Like I, I was a Nipsey fan before him. So he knew that. And he called me and said, What do you think? Uh, I simply told him, Nipsey did his do. He did. He did. And Nipsey did his do. That means that uh, while he was on earth, he completed the task that he was on earth to do. He impacted the lives that he was supposed to impact. The saddest part to say all this about is because that man has kids. He has multiple and he, you know, and he was he fully did. involved. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, if something was to happen to me, that would be the main people that I would want people to console is my kids and my wife. And that's who I think the world should be consoling right now. I know everybody got wounds of their own, but you know, that was his everyday hustle. That's why he was doing what he was doing because he wanted to impact his family. And you know, uh, those are the people who I, I most feel for right now. I mean, like that guy was a solid guy. And you don't get those type of guys on earth, you know, standing in the paint with their family, you know, stand in the paint with their community, stand in the paint with anything, any adversity that he faced, he stood there and let's go. You yeah, know, it's true. he yeah. was a soldier. I like it's, it's beyond music, guys. You guys really got to sit back and, and you know, watch some documentaries on him. He's uh, got a lot of valuable uh, things he's done for this world. Beyond music, yeah. you know, he was uh, producing the documentary. Dr. Seven. Dr. Seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, she be coming out on Netflix soon. Oh yeah, uh, Nick Cannon stepping in and take over there, and which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a collective community effort at this point. Now I can see the Diddy's and all them guys want to put their hand in there. Oh, yeah. and the Jay Z's, you know, it wouldn't be. Uh, but it's his platform. It was his his views of what he wanted, and this is something that we was thinking about sharing with everybody because that is valuable. It's more than just music. It's, it's beyond reality when you get it. Oh, yeah. It's just letting it be exposed. And, and that, that's real life, I like that. Right, right, man. Uh, the things that he did uh, as far as helping the community out and uh, buying back his community is amazing. Yeah. You know, um, that whole neighborhood that he had there, and then the whole plaza where he passed away at, right there, he had just bought that whole place. I remember, yeah. He, he put, uh, that's where the store was at. And from my understanding, that's the same Shopping plaza, he used to get kicked out. They used to run him out of that shopping plaza. Right. You know, when you try to sell the CDs and, 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 and stuff. CDs, yeah. And shirts. And he used to run out of that. Yeah. Marathon. Marathon. was talking about uh, his own plaza and sells his own. Like, 
He sells it. He has a grocery store there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. People yeah, yeah. were saying, like, oh, why is he hanging out in his old neighborhood? This and that. He should be moving out. No, he bought it back. That was his he bought it back. Yeah, oh, yeah. His way of giving back was to, to show the example to people in his community that, you know, no matter how high you get or how famous you are, don't forget where you came from. Correct. And it, Correct. It, it's so crazy that he, he died where he, he hustled his whole life. You know what I'm saying? What he started is what he ended. Right. Yeah. He gave his, literally gave his all to that community, man. Yeah, you, know, you know what was uh, truly, what was truly nice for me was uh, not only did he leave it right where he started in that, he, uh, he intensified the community like 10 times more by doing those things. He actually gave jobs to almost every one of his childhood friends. I seen him post and he said, uh, for the people who don't want the jobs, they just want to be taken care of, I'll do that for them. You know, but the ones who want to do more and go forward, that's what I do. I help them move forward in life, I give them a job, give them a way to make some money. And uh, to me, man, that, they don't make, they don't find that. Right yeah, yeah, find rest that. in peace. Uh, you know, you're yes, a paradise, sir. looking over for those that really need your guys. And man, Lipsy Hustle, you the man, and we'll always be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and rest in peace, Nip. With that being said, I mean, his whole conversation, uh, the next thing, this morning I was listening to uh, some great speakers, and the next thing that I want to say before we got off of um, Plug and Talk this morning was uh, integrity cost. Integrity cost. It costs to uphold the legit cut's name. It, it costs to uphold any standard, you know, uh, to have integrity and to hold that name, you know, so uh, Nipsey Hussle, he paid the cost to be the boss. Yeah, you know what I mean? Everybody who's at the top, they're paying the boss to be the, I mean, they're paying the cost to be the boss. So, uh, what I want to leave it on that one is, do what's right even when nobody's watching, because that's integrity, you know? And, and you never know when your integrity will be tested to show up the proper way, and that could be the lead to your legacy. Exactly. That could be the lead to your legacy, your hidden integrity. What you do by not closed doors, what you do, you know, in the public, all that, it all leads the same. And that's what we're being left with right now was the integrity of Nipsey Hussle, you know, his knowledge and everything. We're being left with that now, and that's what's so powerful. That's what making his name become a legacy. Uh, it's going to be a legacy. That's why he's going to be the Tupac of our generation, because he had integrity. He, he stood by principles and morals, and that guy, he lived it. And yeah, and he, he, actually, be in the way, he, he was very practical, not just uh, verbal about what he wanted to do, because when he spoke about it, he was doing it. Correct. And that, that's something that's, that's a beautiful thing to see, being that we grew up with uh, such a smart individual that we, was able to impact the community. Correct. Uh, I'm a big Tupac fan, uh, 100%. But Tupac always talked about changes. You know what I'm saying? Right. The change had to start with him. And that's something I seen with Nipsey. Right. Nipsey knew what he wanted to see and what he wanted to change, so he made it happen. And once he made it happen, he talked about it. And he was trying to, he was like, like a Jay-Z. He, he right. kind of like walking through how to get out the neighborhood. Right. And how to reinvest in your own neighborhood. And that's key right there. Um, it's, it, it's a beautiful thing to see the community and, and peace and harmony. And it all comes with what you have to bring to the table to make a difference. Correct. Correct, man. And that's that's for Nipsey, man. That, that's for Nipsey, man. Yeah, he, he told us this. And he say, uh, when you know you when you, you know there's a responsibility that needs to be taken over, and you have the resources, or you have the, uh, or you're the person that's supposed to take over that responsibility, it's time for you to stand in there and do it. Exactly. So, on the behalf of Nipsey, us in the old West Coast, us over here on the East Coast. Jose Legit, Earl D on the June 3rd, we gonna stand into our responsibility and we gonna do what we supposed to be doing out here, man. So. Yes, sir, and best believe this is a, a motivation to move forward with uh, another event. Yes. Uh, not including just the cigar for the man and the yes. cigar post, but we got something else coming soon. Oh, yeah. We can't talk further more on this because uh, we'll need more details and we'll talk when we start to do it. Right, okay. it's gonna be here, it's gonna be here. Man. Just let it know, I, I just give you a sneak peek. Uh, the title will be called In the Avenue. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Right? I like that. But uh, we'll talk soon.
great morning so far. Oh, yeah. Power up. Get your coffee, your water, or your tea, whatever you want. Uh, just just look at it in a brighter day. Uh, so man, never another devil. No matter what happened today, keep your head up, your chest out, smile on your face, and push through everything, no matter what. I ain't gonna lie, I was tired this morning. Yeah, I was tired. I was up till like one in the morning last night, and uh, just been working a lot, man. Just you know, at the barber shop, and then we got a little side project we're working on now to finish up. Oh yeah. Um, over here working with the kids as well, you know what I'm saying? Full oh, yeah. time at the shop, and he's working with the kids with the football training. And we get some D1 prospects ready, yeah, right? We need to see some more of that too, man. Yeah, we get some D1 prospects. We need to prospects. see some videos, but thank you guys for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. Please stay tuned. Yes, sir. Earl D, baby. All right. Uh.